So I came down to Charleston, South Carolina to finish writing my book, and I decided to take a little break and go to Cars and Coffee. That's when I encountered this thing. And so I decided my book can wait. I'm filming a video with this. So what is this? It's a Land Rover Defender that has six wheels. And it's also a fire truck. And that makes it the coolest vehicle that I've ever seen. Now, it's owned by Jacques, who runs Relic Imports down here in Charleston, who you absolutely need to follow on Facebook and on Instagram because he's always importing all kinds of cool stuff for sale. And right now, Jacques is going to tell us about the truck, and then I'm going to show you around it, and then we're going to take it for a spin. So where did you get this thing? Uh, this came from Somerset, England. This was an active fire truck. How long did they use it? Uh, from 1988 until about three months ago. Do you think a Land Rover fire truck is a, is a bad idea because your mate break down on the way to the fire? Six wheels. Do all six wheels work? All six have power. Not that much power, but they all have power. And we, so speaking of that, how much power does the car have? Uh, so the stock 3.5 is probably, I want to say about 160, but then you take that and chop it down with six wheels, so maybe 100. Do we know how much this vehicle weighs? I'm going to say it's probably about 7,500 pounds. What are your plans for it? So I hope to turn this into a race support vehicle and uh, load it with all kinds of fun tools, compressors and welders in the back and do some events. And uh, motor-wise, you're going to keep the 3.5? No, I think I'm going to do the sacrilegious thing and put in a uh, big block Chevy engine. A big block Chevy. Now, he's not screwing around. He's done this before. He just took me into his shop, and he has a Defender in there right now with a Chevy V8. What kind of power will this be making when you're done with it? So, depending on which way we go, it could be upwards of four to 500. It just depends on which way we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you bring these vehicles in to sell them. So, could I buy this vehicle? Absolutely. Everything's for sale. This, this thing's for sale. I could be driving around tomorrow in a Land Rover fire truck. Absolutely. Six-wheel drive. Oh, the whole, whole thing. <laughs> we'll start back here where this used to be the water tank. Unfortunately, they had to cut holes in it so customs didn't think there was any cocaine in there. You know you're cool when you're driving around in a six-wheeled vehicle with holes cut in the water tank so customs doesn't think you're a drug smuggler. Now, this is no longer an active fire truck because Jack had to pull out all the cool stuff to get it through customs. But when it was, the back was where all the goodies were. This is where there used to be a generator that powered the water pump and the foam machine. Yes, that's right. The foam machine. Now, on this side, we have the rest of the water tank. Fully loaded, this could hold 1,000 liters of water, which is 265 U.S. gallons. Uh, a gallon weighs 8.3 pounds, which means that when this thing was full, it was carrying around an extra 2,200 pounds in back, or an entire Lotus Elise. Fortunately, Land Rover devised an excellent plan for stopping the vehicle. Four drum brakes in back. Back here is where the firefighters would sit as they drove to the fire and hoped they wouldn't break down. Here is where they kept some of their firefighting gear. Over here, the oxygen tanks. And the rear seat lifts up to reveal serious firefighting equipment. Like, for example, uh, super soakers? I don't know. And then there's my favorite thing about it. Or maybe this is my favorite part. Cheerio, citizens of Charleston. I'm here to fight your fires. Or maybe this is my favorite part. All right, we've had our fun. It's time to take this thing on the road. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is tall and it's heavy. Boy, you can feel how heavy it is. Oh my god, the brakes are so bad. <laughs> I, I can't remember the last time I drove a car and the brakes this bad. Now, if I want to honk, there's this, or there's. Well, you won't do that. I don't want to. If I put the horn on, that woman's going to die of a heart attack. passing that guy that scares me is that the back is wider than the front in this vehicle. So like just because you clear him up here doesn't mean you're going to clear him back there. <laughs> you know, in most normal cars I sit at the stoplight with, in wooden gear, but this thing that clutches so hard. You know what, this is, this is the kind of vehicle though I think I'd rather be outside of because I think it's just so much cooler when you see it. Second. Is this third? Okay, this is second then. Okay, is this fourth? Yeah. Where the fourth is third? <laughs> now I'm gonna go for fifth. Okay. It's a big moment. Is that fifth or third? Oh my god! I did it! Woo! 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 The problem I'm having is there's about as much play when you're in gear as when you're not in gear.